get started. Stretch and de-stretch. Find a comfortable seat. We're gonna bring the arms to the lap. Let them rest. Try not to hold the shoulders. And just close the eyes or bring your gaze to the floor. We're gonna take a couple of minutes to start class and just bring ourselves into this moment, clearing everything that we can from our mind so that we can connect the mind to the body and find a better stretch. Keeping the eyes closed or the head bowed. Take a big deep breath in and sigh it out. Another one, big deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're gonna start a breath count together. Breathing in for five. Breathing out for seven, nice and easy. We're gonna hold at the bottom for three and inhale. Exhale for seven. And pause for three. Inhale for five. Exhale for seven. And pause for three. Good, inhale for five. Exhale for seven. Pause for three. Inhale for five. Exhale for seven. And pause for three. One more round. Inhale for five. Exhale for seven. And pause for three. Find your natural breath. Keep the eyes closed if you can. Start to soften the face, relaxing the space between the eyes, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders. Let the chin come all the way to the chest. Let the head hang heavy. You might hear some cracks like I just did. Stretching out through the back of the neck and down through that cervical spine. We're gonna tilt the head to the left. Keeping that chin down towards the chest. Pull that right shoulder down. and reach the left ear for the left shoulder. Big stretch to the right side of the neck. Good, we're gonna roll the head forward, bringing the chin to the chest, nice and slow. Roll the head to the right. Reach the right ear for the right shoulder and pull that left shoulder down. Big stretch on the left side of the neck. Big deep breath, sigh it out, round the head forward, chin to the chest. Let's take the left ear over the left shoulder. Pull the right shoulder down. And then we're gonna turn the chin down towards the shoulder. Taking that stretch at an angle, Maybe you'll feel it on the right side of the neck towards the back. As we draw the chin down to the collarbone, the head is tilted to the right still, as you'd say, turn to the right, to the left, to the left, there we go. Reaching for the collarbone. From here, we're gonna lift the chin up the left side, circle it through the center, Nice and slow. As we draw the chin down to the right shoulder. 
to the collarbone and hold it there. Relaxing the shoulders, pulling the chin down towards the collarbone, finding that stretch move towards the back of the neck, still on that left side. Good, we'll lift the chin up the right side, circle it up nice and slow, finding a stretch in the front of the neck, and then over to the left. Good, bring the head back to center. We're going to keep the eyes closed if you can for as much of class and try to stay connected to the body and the stretches that we're doing. I'd like you to round the spine and take a seated cat. Bring the chin to the chest, tucking the hips under, cupping the knees with the hands and pull the shoulder blades apart. Now from here, I just want you to shift your body to the left and then round forward into a seated cow, pulling the shoulder blades together. Something called stir the pot. We'll round to the right. Maybe you hear some cracks and pops like I do. And you'll take it back to that seated cat, rounding the spine, tucking the hips, tucking the chin, and then move to the left. Pushing the ribs out to the left side and then back to center, finding that seated cow, squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest, lifting the chin, lifting the hips, and then circle to the right. Take that cat. We're going to go the opposite direction. Pushing the ribs out to the right, circling to the center, taking that seated cow pulling the shoulder blades together, pull the shoulders down and back, lifting the hips, lifting the chin. And then we go to the left, circling to the back into that cap. Good, let's bring our hands to the floor, walking the hands out in front, take a fold, still with the legs crossed, reach the fingers as far forward as you can. Good, now let's let the elbows come to the floor, draw the palms together and take the thumbs and let the head rest onto the thumbs with the space between the eyes. We're gonna stay here for just a few rounds of breath. This is a place on our face that we can apply some pressure to help relax. So you're resting your head into the thumbs at the space between the eyes. And then straighten the arms out. Take a big stretch forward, walking, crawling the fingers out in front reach in the arms as long as you can and then bring it back into a cat position the palms are flat to the mat your back is rounded your arms are long and from this cat you're going to bring your right arm drawing your elbow up to the ceiling keep that left arm long and maybe we reach the right arm up to the ceiling finding some movement in that upper spine Good, let's bring that right palm down. Back to the floor, round the spine into the cat, tuck the chin. And then we'll left, lift the left arm up, elbow points up to the ceiling. That right arm stays straight. And then we'll lift that left arm up to the ceiling, finding a little twist in the upper spine. The eyes, if open, would be gazing at the hand in the air. Very good. Bring that hand down and take that cat. 
separating through the shoulder blades, rounding the spine. Then we're gonna roll up nice and slow. We'll bring the fingertips interlace behind the back. Take your time, squeeze the shoulder blades together and let the chest open up. You might feel a stretch in the forearms, in the biceps and the shoulders. As we slowly lift the arms away from the body, keeping the fingers interlaced, find your stretch and just hold it there. Very good, let's relax that. We're gonna bring the right arm across the body, finding a gentle shoulder stretch to the outside of that right shoulder. And I want you to side bend to the left. Good, set it back up tall. We'll open both arms out to a T. Press the chest forward, pull the arms back. And again, feel the stretch from the biceps into the shoulders across the chest. Good, that left arm comes across the body for a gentle shoulder stretch on the outside of that left shoulder. Now we're going to slowly take a side bend to the right. Keeping that stretch with the shoulder. Take your time. Very good. Bring it up top. We'll open the arms one more time to a T. Pull the arms back. You might feel that you have more space this time, pressing the chest forward, pulling the arms back, hold it here. And then slowly let the hands come down to the floor. We're gonna take both legs out nice and long into a straddle. Waking up through the lower body. We're just gonna walk our hands forward nice and easy. We don't need to go down too far. Let the palms rest to the mat. Let the gaze, if the eyes are open, be right at the top of the fingertips. Maybe you find that spot with a head placement and then close your eyes, focusing on the stretch that you're feeling. Maybe it's behind the knees. Maybe it's on the inner thighs. Where are you feeling your stretch? Stay connected. And then if you find the space, come down to the elbows and let's let the head rest once again onto the thumbs. Staying here for just a few more rounds of breath. Very good. We'll walk the hands in. Let's bend the knees and bring the legs together. And we're gonna transition into a tabletop. Knees will be under the hips, palms underneath the shoulders. And let's just take a couple rounds of cat-cow. Let's lift the hips. Pull the shoulders down and back. Dropping the belly, the chin lifts. Find your cow. Big deep breath, stretching out through the core, and then take it to your cat. 
Tucking the hips, tucking the chin, rounding the spine, pulling the belly up and in, separate the shoulder blades. When you're ready, kick it back into that cow. Stay there as long or as little as you would like before you take it back to your cat. Good, and when you're ready, we're gonna kick the right leg out to the side. Letting the toe point towards the ceiling, you're gonna rock back and set the hips towards that left heel. You're gonna feel a big stretch or you, you could feel a big stretch on the back of the big toe on that left foot. We've got fascia that connects from the big toe all the way up to the crown of the head. And the more we find flexibility in that fascia, the better we move, the easier we move, the better it feels. But we're gonna rock forward, walk the hands out in front and let the hips sink to the mat. Keeping that right leg out to the side, the left leg is behind you. Find your hand placement to come into this lifted position for a core stretch. Big deep breath. Lift the chin, pull the shoulders back. Good, and when you're ready, you lift the hips and take it back to that position with the hips pressed back to the left heel. Maybe coming down towards a child's pose. Bringing the forehead to the mat. Arms are out long. We'll transition again, rocking forward, letting the hips come to the mat. Finding that core stretch, maybe untuck that left toe. Big deep breath. Good, rock it back up. Let's bring that right leg in underneath the hips. And let's shift the hips from side to side, pushing the hips out to the right and then to the left. Good. We'll kick that left leg out long, point the toe up towards the ceiling, and then sit back towards that right heel, stretching out the fascia behind the big toe on the right foot. Hold it here, finding an adductor stretch on that left side. And when you're ready, you'll walk the hands forward and draw the hips towards the mat. Nice and slow, take your time. Find your hand placement that works. You can keep that toe pointed up towards the ceiling or let it point forward, whatever your body wants to do naturally. Find the hand placement where you can draw the shoulders back, back open the chest and find a core stretch with a big deep breath. Good, we'll lift the hips, push them back towards the right heel, tucking that right toe under. Take that child's pose. Good, rock it forward one more time. Sink the hips towards the mat, untuck that right toe and find your core stretch. Take it back into that tabletop position. Bring that left foot underneath. Push the hips out from the right to the left. Take the knees wide, bring the big toes to touch. Untuck the toes and let the hips sink to the heels. Walk the hands forward. We're gonna take a child pose for just a minute to relax. Let your favorite cheek Rest to the mat and just find a place of peace. You don't have to reach for the stretch or count the breath. Just close the eyes and think about what you're feeling in your body.
Very good. Start to lift yourself up from this child pose position. We're going to keep the hips where they are on the heels. Maybe not have the knees as wide. Whatever's comfortable for you, find yourself there. The arms are out in front. We're going to thread the needle. We're going to take the right arm and bring it behind the left. The palm can face up or down, whatever is comfortable for you. Find a space where you can come all the way down to your mat, bringing your right temple to the mat. Finding a stretch on the outside of that left shoulder. And then reach the right arm, sorry, reach the left arm up high. Good. If you'd like, you can bring the arm down towards the low back and let it rest here or reach the fingertips for the right leg, opening up through the front of the left shoulder. Good. Unwind. Bring that left arm out in front. Let's slide the right arm back and we'll reach that right arm high. Good, bring it down. This time we're gonna bring the palm facing the floor and slowly lower down. Now, if anything ever causes you pain, pull out of it. We don't wanna cause any pain. And if you can, slowly lower down. Finding a stretch from a different angle in that shoulder. And if that is uncomfortable for you, you can turn the palm up and stay right there. Good, slowly unwind, bring that right arm up high. Bring the right arm down. We're gonna slowly bring the right hand out in front and use the left arm to slide under the right, behind the right. Palm up, slowly lower your left temple down to the floor. Nice gentle stretch on that left shoulder. And when you're ready, if you're ready, if you're willing to bring that right arm high, reach it up. Working on that back today. Lots of shoulder stretch. Good, bring it down. Press up through the right palm. Unthread that left arm and take it up high. Good, bring it down one more time. Reach that left arm behind the right. Maybe you tried palm down this time and that's uncomfortable for me, so I'm gonna do palm up. Reaching my right hand forward this time. Just relax. Now, if you did it on the other side, you can meet me with that right arm high and then slowly bring it down to the low back. And if you connected last time, the fingertips to the thigh, let's try it again. It'll open up the shoulder on the right side and the front. Very good, we'll slowly unwind. Bring both arms out in front and rock the hips forward. Tuck the toes. And let's push the hips high and come into a straddle. Folding forward, the legs are wider than your hips. You're gonna let that upper body hang heavy. Decompressing that spine. Hips are high, you'll feel a stretch down the backs of both legs, hold it here. Good. We're going to walk the hands towards the right foot and turn 
both feet towards the right side of the room. Take a little step in with that left foot. So we're essentially folding over the right leg. Tuck the chin to look behind you. Hang out here for just a moment. We're gonna take a big step back with that left foot and then slowly bring our torso up tall. Our left leg is long. Take a moment to find your balance. You should feel a stretch go down the front of that left hip into the hip flexors. Tuck the hips under, squeeze the glutes and feel that stretch go a little deeper. Very good, let's slowly lower that left knee to the floor, untuck the toe and rock the hips forward. making this stretch a little bit easier. Bringing the hands down to the inside of that right foot. You can let the right knee fall out to the side if that feels okay for you. And we'll push the hips back, straighten the right leg and pull the right toes back towards the face. Keep the spine nice and long. Isolating that hamstring stretch on the right, like we did in the standing position. Good, let's walk the hands forward, bend the right knee, tuck the left toe, lift the left knee off the mat, and we're gonna reach the right arm high. Once you reach the arm high, I want you to pull the right arm back and open the chest towards the ceiling. Press the left heel down towards the back. Good, bring the right hand down. Let's step the right foot back and find our plank. We had a request for some core movement today. We're gonna hold our plank right here, pressing the palms into the mat, squeezing the shoulders together. Squeeze the core, and then let's push it to a down dog. Push the hips high, push the chest towards the legs, lengthen down the sides of the body, the backs of the arms, and then press the heels towards the floor. Good, let's take it back to your plank. Slowly move it forward. And if you need to, you can drop to the knees for this. We're gonna hold this plank for just a few seconds. Squeeze the core, squeeze the shoulder blades. And then press the palms into the mat, round the upper back and separate the shoulder blades. Good, let's push it back to that down dog. Find the stretch down the sides of the body by pushing the upper body close to the legs. And then again, press the heels close to the floor. We're gonna step our left leg forward in between the hands and slowly step that right foot in just a step. We wanna find that forward fold over the left leg, stretching up the back of that left leg into the hamstring behind the knee. Find your stretch and hold. Good. We'll take a big step back with that right foot and slowly help yourself up 
to bring that torso tall. Take your time, find your balance, squeeze your core for help. And then sink into this position, squeezing the glutes, tucking the hips, finding that stretch down the right hip. All the way in the front, you should feel that in the flexors. Hold it here, dynamic stretching. And then slowly let that knee come down to the mat. Bring the hands to the inside of that left foot. Sink the hips toward the mat, untuck the toe. And let gravity do the work for you. If that left knee falls out to the side, that's okay. Hold it here, find your stretch and find your breath. Good, let's push that left leg straight, pushing the hips back, pull the left toes back towards the face, isolating that hamstring stretch on the left. We'll hold it here. Good, we'll walk the hands forward, bend the left knee, tuck the right foot, lift the right knee off the mat and the left hand goes high. We reach it high first and then we pull the arm back, opening the chest towards the ceiling and press the right heel away. Good, bring the left hand down. Step the left foot back and find your plank. If you need to bring the knees to the floor, that's okay. Hold it here. Pull the belly in. Hold it. Good. Let's let the knees come to the mat. Untuck the toes. Keeping the legs close together. Bringing the chest to rest on the thighs. Pull the arms back and let the palms stack. And then bring your favorite cheek on top of the palms. Close the eyes if they're not already and just relax. Stretch and de-stretch. Big deep breath if that feels good. A couple of rounds of breath here. Nice and easy. Very good. Start to reach the arms forward. Walk the hands forward and let the hips come all the way down to the mat. Pulling the palms back underneath the shoulders. If this is uncomfortable, come down to the forearms. We're going to pull the shoulder blades together around, pulling the shoulders back, opening up through the chest and take a big stretch, big breath into the core. Good. We'll slowly walk the hands out in front to come all the way down to the chest. And then we'll roll on to our right side. Let your head rest onto the bottom arm as a pillow. Take a moment, just relax. Very good, we'll come up to the forearm and then up to the palm on that right hand. Bending that bottom knee, we're gonna lengthen out the left leg and we're gonna take another plank here, lifting the hips into a side plank. Let's reach that left arm up high. 
Now from here, I want you to reach the left arm, the right side of the room and push the left side of the body up towards the ceiling, a big side body stretch here, squeezing the core on the right, stretching it out through the left. Very good, slowly lift the left arm up to the ceiling and come down to the floor. I want you to take that left hand, thread it behind the right and find a gentle twist. Finding a stretch up the right side of the back. Very good, we're gonna sit tall. Bring that bottom knee that's bent out in front. We'll bend the left leg, find your 90-90, bring both knees to an L position. Sit tall and we're gonna lean over that right leg. Forearms can be to the floor, the arms can be out long. Maybe you bend the elbows, bring the palms together and let the head rest on the thumbs. Looking for a glute stretch on that right side, stretching the outside of that right hip. Very good, when you're ready, you'll sit tall. And let's bring the knees up towards the ceiling. We'll rotate to the left, bringing that left leg out in front. The right leg is out to the side, both at an L shape, sit nice and tall. And then walk the hands forward over that left leg, finding that glute stretch on the left. And find your place to relax. Very good, slowly start to sit up. Now we're just gonna transition that right leg nice and long. Bring that left leg underneath, taking it to that side plank position on the left. So the right leg is long, left knee is bent on the bottom. We're up to our left palm. We're gonna press up to a side plank, reaching that right arm high. From here, we're gonna reach the right arm to the left side of the room, press, the right side body up towards the ceiling, squeeze the left obliques. Arch the body up towards the ceiling. Very good, slowly make your way down. The arm comes up towards the ceiling. We bring it down and we're gonna reach it, reaching that right arm behind the left, finding some movement in that upper spine. Good, let's bring it to a seat. We're gonna place the feet on the ground. The knees are bent and the hands are gonna come behind us, fingers pointing away. Slowly start to lift the hips and press them up towards the ceiling. Coming to a reverse tabletop position. Maybe you feel a stretch in the forearms. Good, slowly bring it down. Bring the hands to the knees and slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Rolling down. We're gonna pull the knees into the chest, wrapping the forearms around the knees if you can. Take the knees wide. And take a couple big deep breaths. Stretching out through the low back. Start to take a slow rock side to side. Massaging the low back into the mat.
There you go. We're going to bring our feet to the floor. And reach our arms up overhead. Take a big stretch. Reaching the fingertips behind you. Lift and arch the back. Take a big deep breath in the core. And then slowly just bring your arms out either to a T or to a goalpost position. And then slowly start to rock the knees to the right and to the left. Lifting the knees to the ceiling and then slowly lowering them all the way to the right side. Let's just let them rest the right. Keeping your eyes closed. Just observing where you feel the sensations and the stretch. Start to relax your face. Good, we'll lift the knees to the ceiling and then slowly lower them to the left. And then find a spot where you can just let them rest and focus on all the sensations. Good, good. Bring the knees to the ceiling and we'll slowly let the legs come out long. We're going to bring the hands down to the sides and slowly roll up to come to the forearms. We want to arch the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening the chest, lifting the chest up towards the ceiling. You can slowly let the head fall back. Bring the chin to chest and slowly lower all the way down to the back. And we'll bring the knees to the chest one more time. Wrapping the forearms around the knees if you can. Find that slow rock side to side. Massage the back into the mat. Very good. Bring the feet down to the floor. And then bring the soles of the feet together. We'll let the knees fall out to the side and bring your palms to your belly. Taking just a few rounds of breath here, letting gravity stretch out through the hips, through the inner thighs. As we just relax the upper body, maybe focus on your breath. When you're ready, you can slowly lengthen both legs. Let the feet fall out to the side. And bring your arms out to the sides, palms face up. Take a big deep breath in and out. Starting from the top of the head, you're just going to relax. Softening the face, relaxing the neck and the shoulders. 
Letting the arms be heavy. The ground is completely supporting you. You don't have to hold any weight. Holding no tension in the palms or the fingers. Letting that low back just relax. Let the hips just melt into the mat. Let the legs be heavy. Make sure there's no tension in the feet or the toes. Just observe any sensations you're feeling. Or observe the breath. Notice how relaxed you feel. You can stay here as long as you like. Whenever you're ready, you can start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. We'll reach the arms up overhead and take a big stretch. Big deep breath out. Let's roll on to your favorite side. Keep the eyes closed if they are. Use that bottom arm as a pillow. Let the top arm just relax to the side of the body. Taking a moment to wake up slow. When you're ready, softly blink the eyes open and help yourself up to a seat. Thank you guys so much for joining me for stretch and de-stress.